Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric, and today we're just going to do everybody's favorite end of year and look forward video. Okay, so before we talk about anything specific, and I mean this sincerely, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for joining us on all of the different platforms that you can find Fry Minis. Uh, this has been an absolutely like just bananas year for us. And it's, I mean, obviously that's because of you. Thank you. So <laughs> I, I know everybody always says it, but I, it's really, really amazing having this community uh, that we've developed here. That's just, just awesome. So thank you to the fellow creators who have uh, worked with me and back and forth and built this uh, idea that we can all have enough space. We can all work together and grow together. Thank you to my patrons for uh, supporting the channel financially. That has just been absolutely crucial for us to keep going. And just most importantly, thank you to everybody. Thank you to the audience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do have a quick announcement that is kind of late and that's, that's my fault, uh, but I am thrilled to finally announce our winners from our Bander Hobtober painting contest. So this is a uh, painting contest we ran in October, Bander Hobtober, uh, that was themed around uh, Julie's favorite monster, the Bander Hob. We did a whole bunch of other stuff with it, but in particular, the painting contest, we had some incredible entries. Uh, and I'm gonna show you all of the entries, but I'm, then I'm going to also show you our winners. Luckily, we had a pretty manageable number of entries this year. Uh, so I'm going to show you every single one. And these will be just in chronological order of submission. So stay tuned for the winners. Bandercat by Alec Roundy. Put her there, partner, by Deirdre. Banderlips by Jameson. Grenouille the Aquahob Chef by Aaron Dormouse03. Floyd by Once Bitten Apple. Banderhob by Max and Jade. Banderphone by Drew and Keisha. And Ribbons by Dark Abyss Keeper. Okay, so I mean, those are all great, right? Like, it's so cool uh, that people spent the time to paint up these minis and participate. It's just, it's, I love it so much. Okay, so we have three winners here. So I have picked a personal favorite. Julie has picked a personal favorite. And our Discord server voted on their favorite. So each of these winners is going to get a $50 gift card and US winners are going to get a print of a Bander Hob in the mail. Our first winner is Julie's favorite. This is Alec Roundy's Bander Cat. An interesting note for this one is 3D printed and then heavily customized. Uh, and we really like the sparkles too. All right, our second winner and my pick is Aaron Dormouse 03's Grenouille the Aquahob Chef. This was just such a fun take on the mini. Uh, I believe this one is also 3D printed. The basing is really nice. I love the paint scheme here. This is this is really fun. Okay, so our third winner was chosen by our Discord members over at discord.gg slash fryminis. Uh, we had so many votes here. This was great. This was a, a strong, strong number one pick. Uh, this is Put Her There Partner by Deirdre. We've got an immaculate paint job here. The whole theme of this is just like so clever and so creative. And the hat was custom made and a really great basing job too. All three of those winners were really kind of in our top three picks too. So it worked out well. These were all, all, all so cool. The winners of course were, were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but again, I just, it was so great to have so many entries here. It was super duper fun. And if you didn't have a chance to vote, I'd love to hear in the comments, which mini you would pick, which one was your favorite. Okay. So let's talk some numbers for fry minis. Uh, so this has been a, uh, just a, a gangbusters year for us. Uh, we started fry minis maybe uh, like late March, uh, 2020. So it was kind of like a slow start, you know, trying to figure things out. And most of those videos aren't even listed because they are not good. <laughs> uh, but you know, that's how it goes, right? Uh, so 2021, this is the 
first year that we got on the Wizards of the Coast list. Uh, we, oh, that was just wild. I couldn't believe it. So we're getting these books now for reviews and those reviews have had just like unbelievable growth, at, at least for my scale, uh, potential and numbers for us so far. And we're even starting to get some WizKids minis shipped directly from them. Uh, we've got one shipment and I'm really hoping we get some more, uh, but we'll, we'll see on that. Okay, so let's go through a couple platforms here and just to, to give a little bit of an idea of how amazing this year's been. Okay, so for YouTube, we ended 2020 at just under 300 subscribers. <laughs> uh, at the time, that felt great. That was, that was fantastic for me. Uh, and our goal, we'd set uh, to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. Uh, we had hoped, of course, to get more than that. And we did. We ended up at 3,600 uh, ish subscribers here right now uh, at the end of 2021. So that that was huge. That was so, so cool. Uh, getting monetized, starting to offset some of these costs uh, has been has been huge it's just it's so cool it success feels good and thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for that success i know a lot of our audience uh came to us through the whiz kit or through the wizards of the coast book reviews and that's great i hope to expand <laughs> uh beyond just doing uh here's a early look at books and and get some more uh engagement on our other video topics but stay tuned for that. You know, we'll work it out. It'll happen. And so when they're setting our 2022 end of year goal, uh, it's it's kind of funny, right? So 5,000 sounds like a good goal, but then that's not as much growth as we had this year. And 7,500 just seems like a weird number. So if we set our goal at 10,000 subscribers, I mean, looking kind of at, at the math of how we've grown, it seems reasonable. Uh, but just the idea of saying 10,000 subscribers is, uh, it's a lot, <laughs> uh, that's a scary number to me. Uh, but Hey, we're, we're setting it. That's our target. End of year, 2022 prime minis aiming for 10,000 subscribers. So please <laughs> share, share, share our prime minis videos <laughs> uh, over on Twitter. Uh, I'm not a big Twitter person. I'm, I'm trying to be more active over there. And it's worked. Uh, I mean, we ended 2020 at just under uh, like about 50 subscribers. And right now we're at like 510 or something. Uh, and our goal was 500. So we're kind of, we're right on the money there. Um, I don't anticipate super explosive growth over there unless something wild happens. Uh, so we're going to set our 2022 end of year goal for Twitter at a thousand doubling. So, I mean, that's a big percentage growth, but volume wise, I don't think that's anything that's unreasonable. Okay. So for Instagram, I don't know if you know, but Instagram was actually where we started with fried minis. Uh, I was painting minis and we wanted a, an easy way to show off what it to our friends, what it meant when I said, Oh, I'm painting minis. So we launched the Instagram account and we were just posting pictures there. And, um, uh, it was great, <laughs> uh, really, really awesome community over there. But as YouTube has taken up more and more of, of my time, uh, I absolutely have dropped the ball on Instagram. Like there's, there's no two ways about it. So end of year, 2020, we were at uh, 1.8 K. Uh, our goal was to get to 3000 by the end of 2021. Uh, and we did not meet that goal. We ended up at uh, 2.4 K. So we still had growth. It was still the right direction. Uh, we just didn't get there as quickly as we wanted to. And I, I, I'm going to be realistic here. I'm not anticipating dumping a ton of attention on Instagram. Yes, I need to get better at it. And I just need to start paying more mini so we can post them over there. Uh, but I need to start doing other stuff with, uh, with Instagram. So I'm going to keep our goal at 3000, but I might shift that mid year if, depending on how YouTube is going. Our discord is an interesting one. We had just launched just before we made the last year's video, uh, wrapping up the year at 10, <laughs> 10 people on our discord. So we, we were, we had just made it and we're testing it out. 
Uh, so I had no expectation, no idea on what kind of a target to set. So we went with 250 for the end of 2021 and we didn't get to that target, but that target was completely made up. So I don't feel too bad. We ended up at a, or I think we're at like 175 people on discord at discord.gg slash fry minis right now. And it's great. That community over there is just a, a hoot and a half. We have so much fun. I was never a discord person before this. So this was a, a whole new experience for me, but holy cow, Discord is just great. It's a, such a good way to talk to people and meet people and learn from other people and just get help. It's, it's great, great, great. So I do think as YouTube grows, we will simultaneously grow Discord naturally. So I am aiming kind of high here. I'm gonna set our 2022 Discord goal at 500. I want to get at least 500 people over there. Uh, the more we can talk, the more we can learn. And by the way, if you're a content creator, come on over and then send me a message and we might have a secret uh, channel just for content creators to help each other out and learn. But you didn't hear it from me. Actually, you did. That's the whole point. Come on over. Discord.gg slash Frymanies. Okay, similar boat to Discord. Uh, Patreon. We had just launched it uh, just before doing our wrap up video. Uh, so we were at like five patrons, which for the end of 2020, which was great. That was five more than we expected to get. Uh, and I had no uh, idea <laughs> at what to set our target to. Uh, so we went with, I think, 100 patrons. Uh, but the silly thing there is that usually Patreon tiers are wildly different price points. So volume at that initial thinking didn't super matter. And we've definitely had some revamps and changes to how we run the Patreon. Uh, and we just made another one that I, th I'm really excited for. Uh, and I'll talk about here in a second. So we had, we, <laughs> we ended up at 15 patrons, but that that's just where we're at this exact moment. That's not a good example because we've had uh, a lot of people come through and stick around for quite a while uh, at some of the higher support tiers, which has been just incredibly, incredibly helpful. Uh, I know I got one shipment from WizKids, but generally <laughs> I'm buying all these minis. And if you know about minis, I mean, that's, <laughs> it's a lot, <laughs> especially right now. Everything's jacked up in price. And so it's um, Patreon's been a, just an invaluable uh, help there. And so just to keep it consistent, we're going to set our target at a hundred patrons, but, uh, let me tell you why I'm so excited for it. So previously we had a whole tier system of like bronze and silver and gold and all these things. And we offered a ton of features, but what I found is that most people weren't actually like utilizing these features. So we've stripped those out and we're, we've flattened it. Fry minis, Patreon, the Spud Club, the patreon.com slash fry minis is five bucks, five bucks a month. And we have higher tiers if you want to support the channel more, which is great, uh, but there's no additional benefits. So if, if you want to come in at five dollars, that gets you everything. And of course, if you want to help us out more, <laughs> that would be awesome, too. But five bucks a month for fry minis that gets you, of course, our undying appreciation and, and thank you uh, that gets you all sorts of things that gets you exclusive roles and and discord channels uh, that gets you monthly PDFs and we'll talk more about that in a second of course that gets you uh, special patreon only posts and inside looks and and we're gonna get more active with that to all the normal stuff uh, and then we're going to add more and more things but or I'm really excited. One of the things we used to do with the, our past iterations, uh, we had a Fry Minis Mini of the Month painting contest. And you, if you've watched all of our videos, you've seen it a couple times, uh, but there we've had several months where nobody submitted anything. And that was my fault because we didn't have a prize. Like we gave you recognition in the video, but we didn't have a prize and everybody wants a prize. So every single month now, if you're a patron, you get access into this painting contest or painting challenge and you will get uh, the winner will get a $25 gift card. So it's not a, not a game changer, but if you're only paying five bucks a month to be, to be in the spud club, you can come out and make 20 bucks. <laughs> it, I think it's going to be fun. We have really cool themes. Uh, all that kind of stuff is, is uh, planned out 
uh, including Bander Hobtober again. And if you want to learn more about the challenge, check out frymanies.com slash SCPC Spud Club Painting Challenge. So I think that's a pretty good value for five bucks. Uh, our PDFs, I'm really, really proud of them. Uh, you're getting subclasses, you're getting uh, uh, races, you're getting lineages, you're getting item packs, uh, all this stuff. And we always include, uh, for the character options, we always include personality traits, bonds, flaws, um, all that kind of stuff, uh, including trinkets and origins. So we're really, and, and we do a full write up with it. So it's, you get a really fleshed out, uh, little piece of content there. And before you would get that PDF, we would post it on Patreon, but now we have a new exciting way we're going to do it. Uh, we have been revamping fryminis.com uh, and it's not done. <laughs> We've still got a lot of work ahead of us of things we want to add on there, including like our mini rating system and, and our, our tier list for the minis. Uh, but specifically what we're talking about now uh, is fryminis.com slash shop. So we went back and we cleaned up all of the PDFs. We've got a really cool new format that I'm excited for and everything is OGL uh, compatible. So they are available. So we have got some free content. We've got some uh, free races. We've got all the Bander Hob stuff, the items, the path of the Bander Hob Barbarian, the Bander Born, uh, all that's for free. And then we also, all those past PDFs we're selling. Uh, and we're actually just these PDFs, I'm again, I'm loving these PDFs, $1.99 a PDF. That's it, two bucks. And so if you're in the Spud Club, you're getting a coupon code every month to go and download that for free. Easy peasy, really excited. And we've got some more robust PDF content that I'm working on that will get on there at a higher price point than that $1.99. But I'm really excited to, to look at this and figure it out and, and start getting some more of our content into your hands. And this is all stuff that I, I have deeply considered and thought through. And if you have feedback, we always want to hear it. Okay. So you've got our general goals for 2022. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing more collaborations. We've got a great group of, uh, YouTubers that we're working with, uh, to, to do some interviews, to do some round tables, to do lots of like one-on-ones. Uh, things like that, some more streams. Uh, hopefully Baldur's Gate 3 comes out this year so we can play that. Uh, and just just being uh, more active with this. And I'm really excited to tell you that Julie plans to be an even bigger part of, part of this. So her, her Animal Crossing stuff, uh, the unboxings, uh, we're gonna do some more Julie videos. It's just, it's really, really great. I think 2022 is going to be a great year uh it, and it feels funny you know 2021 was a really bad year for a lot of people uh so i feel a little i have i have funny feelings about kind of uh enjoying the success that we've had here but i don't know that's where we're at right now so what what do you want to see uh from from fry minis in 2022 uh keep your eye on fryminis.com uh, join us over at Discord, discord.gg slash fryminis. Check us out at patreon.com slash fryminis. Five bucks a month. I think it's reasonable. <laughs> and I hope you do too. And if you don't, let me know in the comments what would make that reasonable. What, what would you expect to get that you're not getting with this? I've got a very special mini uh, video coming out here soon uh, that has a big purple dragon that... Some people might uh, recognize from a certain other channel. <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to spoil it yet, so that's where we're at. Uh, and then, uh, of course, later in January, uh, I'm expecting, hopefully, to get Monsters of the Multiverse. So we'll have a full coverage, full spread on, on that with all those player races, the rework of all the monster stat blocks, and all that wild, wild stuff. Okay, so if you're still here, Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. This Prime Mini started as just like a fun little kind of thing to do, but the community, and I, again, I know everybody always says it, but it, it really, really is true. The community is what makes all of this worthwhile. Like it's, we've made so many friends doing this. And if you haven't talked to us yet, come talk to us and let's be friends. 
Okay, so I guess <laughs> I guess that'll be it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, all of that normal stuff. We'll see you in 2022.